I thought, well, this is a great opportunity. We're a small state uh, to gather data. And I was, um, was able to find a medical student from UConn, our state medical school, who needed a senior thesis and she contacted me. And we gathered data from around the state, 12 sites, and that was the first year of data that we gathered and was published in the Breast Journal in November of 2012. We then gathered the data for the second year and found similar findings. We were finding approximately th over three per thousand additional breast cancers, which basically doubles the number of breast cancers that we find on just screening mammogram alone, and that th these were fairly small and node negative. So um, being the kind of person that I am, I said, well, listen, I'm still collecting this data in my practices let me continue to do this for a few more years because one in two years really doesn't show us enough information because we don't know will the numbers fall off will people even come um, and what kind of cancers will we find because there was still a great deal of skepticism around the country and more of these bills were being signed but still there was a lot of pushback um, on both the radiologists um, gynecologists internists and you know, this was, again, a unique opportunity. So um, I went back and just pulled out the data from my offices. I have five offices for the years one and two. And then I um, pulled out the data for year three and four. And I just tallied it all up and compared it and found that actually much to my su surprise, I wasn't sure what we'd find, we continued to find 3.2 cancers per thousand additional cancers in this cohort of patients with breast tissue density greater than 50%. I did not break it down 50 to 75 and 75 to greater. Um, I did not break it down by age. I just showed what we had. Um, and that these cancers in year four, for example, were statistically significant cancers because for the most part they were less than a centimeter in size and were node negative.